So I'm going to see how much farther I want to push this uh, with this last part here. Do some final touch-ups, final little tweaks here and there. Um, you didn't get to see this part, but I added some. I just used the highlight tool on, well, not the highlight tool, what's it called? The um, dodge tool on midtones, and I just highlighted this for some of the bone would show through. I'm going to take my meat texture once again, drop it in here. Go ahead and set this to uh, color burn. Go to layer, layer mask, and hide all. So what I'm going to use this for now is blood. I want a bunch of blood. I'm going to turn this opacity to 100%. I'm thinking kind of splotches right there. And then I kind of want streams coming down her face right there. Sort of like it's all, you know, dried up in spots. Cool. Now I'm going to have some blood. And here, and I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna do that uh, flap of skin right there. I'm gonna zoom into the eyes. I'm gonna add some redness to the edges here, just to see what it looks like. Maybe mess around with some uh, veins like I said I just want to see how far I can take this one so what's cool about digital art is you can uh, take it as far as you want you know where and people can just stop when they don't like it anymore they can be like oh I liked it at you know this time that's when it was cool and then after that I don't really like it anymore and that's cool you know they can just watch to the point they like it right so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm just gonna flatten all these because I don't need the under image anymore I'm gonna use the uh, burn tool on midtones for right now with a small brush here and I'm going to burn in the edge of the skin that way it'll be a flap now and I'm still kinda want some of that there and the reason why I'm gonna go to my regular brush and add some of this color back and the reason why is because even though it's folding over the skin and add some of this bony color like little lines little veins you can do all kinds of crazy stuff you know just never know when you're going to be done with it add some of this black now I'm just painting with regular paintbrush right now Add some lightness to the edge there. So I'm gonna see. I need some of these lines to go all the way over, so it gives the illusion that this skin is flapping all the way over. works okay then for the blood also I want to add some speckler 
not much, but I just want to add a little bit of speckler. You know, only with some of the blood that would actually have some of that left, but. Almost wonder maybe I should take some of this brighter blood and just add a little bit of that brightness into some of the blood there. Go back to this bigger, bigger brush. Okay, I'm going to go to back to this tool. Add some more uh, texture to the skin here might have a little bit of veins right on the edge where the bone meets. This is just all about texturing out, just get the last little bit of details. And there might be a little bit of texture for the around the blood, you know, to get some shadow. Because I want it to kind of stick out a little bit. A little bit of darkness there. I'm just going to add a little bit of texture on the edge where the bone meets the thing, where the bone meets the skin, because I don't want it to be too uh, smooth. And, I, and I, if I, I can then go finally and look for parts where I want to add you know, more speckler highlights here and there just to kind of bring out the textures more. And this is pretty much... Uh, done. I mean, I can, I can continue to think of things to push a little bit further. I think I pretty much pushed it as far as it can go. Add a little bit of speckled parts more to the, where the bone's kind of showing through there. Maybe some highlight there. I think maybe on the edge of her lip a little bit. A little bit in here. If I wanted to, I could add some veins and stuff down in here. Okay, so I'm thinking that's pretty much it. Thinking, thinking she's done. Megan Fox as uh, super ugly zombie. You can use these kind of techniques, you know, using different kind of textures and stuff, and using a lot of the techniques I just used now to make this, and you can use it to make different things. Um, you know, it's just really, it's it's unlimited. There's just all kinds of cool things you can do. You can make beautiful textures too, beautiful overlays, using yes, scales, using cat parts. You, know, you can make cat person, using scales to make mermaid. It's just it's really it's really unlimited and. Uh, Anyway, what I would like you guys to do, since I did decide to go ahead and uh, put all these parts up for free, I was going to only have like part one or two up for free and then the rest, uh, all the parts for download for like $5. Well, what, what I want you guys to do to tell me now is what should be my next project for download. You know, it'll be a $5 download. It'll be something like this, but it'll be what you want. Um, maybe a cool fancy mermaid or you know, some other type of fantasy creature, maybe cat person or something. And I don't mean cat person with just ears, but like a full-on cat person, like cat face and everything. You know, cat eyes and like, kind of like a Beauty and the Beast kind of thing. So anyway, let me know what you guys would want and what you guys would like, you know, what you guys like the next download for $5 to be the next download series, and I can do it. All right, so that's it. Go ahead and check out Digital Canvas for more free videos. And I hope you enjoyed this, and leave comments and everything. Let me know what you think. Okay, there it is. That was just a quick uh, an tween animation I did with the animation part in CS3 of Photoshop. Until next time.